The next Monday morning arrived with a sense of anticipation and trepidation. As I entered the polished corridors of Bilandra, a summons echoed through the pristine walls. Mr. Anderson had requested my presence in his office. A mixture of nervousness and eagerness danced within me as I approached the imposing door, adorned with the engraved nameplate that marked the sanctum of Bilandra's orchestrator. Upon entering, the opulence of Mr. Anderson's office enveloped me. Mahogany furniture exuded an air of authority, and the subtle scent of leather mingled with the pristine air. The spacious room, adorned with abstract artwork and corporate accolades, felt like the inner sanctum of Belandra's intricate power structure. Mr. Anderson, the maestro of this corporate symphony, awaited behind his expansive desk. His tailored suit bespoke both affluence and dominance. A tie, meticulously chosen, accentuated his air of authority, while cufflinks and a watch gleamed with understated opulence. My gaze couldn't help but drift to his shoes. Polished to perfection, they anchored his presence in the room. Alex. His voice cut through the silence, carrying a tone that hinted at both command and expectation. I stood at attention, my eyes locking onto the distinctive accessories that adorned him. Suspenders holding his trousers in place, cufflinks bearing the Bilandra insignia, and a pair of meticulously crafted gemstone-encrusted cufflinks. His directive was unequivocal. Kneel, he commanded, his eyes fixated on mine with an intensity that demanded compliance. My heart raced as I sank to my knees, a position of submission that mirrored the power dynamics within Belandra's corporate hierarchy. As I knelt before him, my gaze involuntarily lowered to his immaculate shoes, a silent testament to his unwavering authority. The subtle gleam of cufflinks, the way his tie complemented the ensemble, every detail painted a picture of a man who understood the art of control. Mr. Anderson leaned back in his chair, a gesture that exuded dominance. Show me, Alex, he declared, his words laden with expectation. Prove to me what you're capable of, and perhaps, just perhaps, you might find yourself ascending the ranks within Belandra.